bella perché questo Tour de Suisse è stato proprio questo, una corsa bella. Sì, come sono i tuoi sentimenti? Sono un po' mixti, no? Ovviamente sono felice perché ho vinto questa gara, è la seconda volta che ho vinto questo anno, quindi sono felice che continuo a migliorare in questo tipo di stile di corsa. But yeah, uh, the primary goal is here to win the GC, and yeah, I came second, so it's it's just a bit uh, yeah, a pity. But you know, uh, Matthias was super strong, and, and we have to just congratulate him. And the results in these days are not the most important things, right? Sorry. The results in these days are not the most important things. No, exactly. Uh, of course, I wanted to uh, give this uh, the GC to Gino, but I think yeah, uh, also the stage uh, he will be happy for me. So. Of course, this goes for him. Uh, racing is uh, now a bit more on the side. Uh, you don't feel like like celebrating. It's it's not uh, what yeah what it what comes to you. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, everybody here gave their best uh, to to Gino for sure. Matthias also uh, is thinking of him uh, to to give the the GC for him. So yeah, I'm also happy I could win for to to try and honor his memory. Thank you very much. Bueno, eran las palabras de Juan Ayuso, quien ha sido el ganador de la etapa número 8 de este Tour de Suiza. La contrarreloj individual de 25,7 kilómetros. Juan Ayuso se lleva la etapa, pero no puede llevarse la general. Juan Ayuso le ha metido 8 segundos a Renko Ebenepol y le ha metido a Matías Esquelmolz. 9 segundos en, esta, en este ejercicio contra el reloj. Aquí estamos viendo el podio final. Matías Esquemols, Juan Ayuso y Renko Ebenepol. Ahí está. No te pierdas que ahorita más dentro de un rato vamos a tener eh, el resumen de lo que fue la, esta contrarreloj individual. El resumen de estos tres ciclistas que eran los que se estaban peleando el podio para que veas los tiempos que marcaron en los diferentes puntos intermedios antes de llegar a la meta. Así que no te vayas a perder ese video.